The kicker, Brandon Aubrey, is out to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now second and three. It's Eckler again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. And obviously they want that run yardage, so they decline the penalty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Smart on their part. They finished off the play. But if you're going to jump, if you're going to commit a penalty, it's your job to finish off the play so you don't give up big gains like that. Throwing on first down, Daniels. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 13 yards there on a Washington first. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 37, they work on second and six. Back to throw. Daniels. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Eckler. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Well, if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Second and six. Looking to throw. Daniels. It's caught by his running back, Austin Eckler. And the Commanders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, 
They're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Back to throw. Daniels. Touchdown, Washington. John Bates. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Commanders will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. McManus's point after is good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down, Prescott. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll try and run for the first time with Freeman. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Three and a half to go, first quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Daniels and complete to Zach Ertz. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. 
Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Prescott looks to throw on first. Left side to Lamb. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They give it to Freeman up the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Ah, oh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Off the play fake, Prescott. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. Hold on a second. Was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says that the slot receivers are the only guys who can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch? Really nice job there. Showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. Throwing. Prescott. Pass incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Prescott. That is caught. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 30. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Seven. 
from the 23. Here's second down and three. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Prescott now, option right. And he stopped immediately there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Now a second and 10. Prescott now. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jake Ferguson, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. On first down, Daniels. Blitz coming and down he goes. They bring a man off the corner that time and he gets home for a loss of six. Oh my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Looking to throw on second down, Daniels. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. That's complete to his receiver, McClellan. And he's going to have a commander's first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield, or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. 
to throw on second down. Daniels. This is swung out to Eckler. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Off the play fake. Daniels. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Here's a second and five. Prescott off play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. On the draw, this will be Freeman. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Second and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this all oh, incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Off play action, Daniels dancing to his left. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubted for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. 
And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. The safety blitz staged to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. Well, a free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels, under pressure, they got him again. The safety blitz staged to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them? That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. A final shot before break, Daniels. So a touchdown apiece, that's what we have to show at halftime. A happy sight for a lot of these fans were jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Third quarter starts with a run by Freeman. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Up the middle, Freeman. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Lamb. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Running right, this is Freeman. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. 
Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now second and five. To throw is Prescott. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Prescott to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. A first down throw for Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Play action now, Prescott. Now he's forced out left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Second down and three. Looking to throw. Prescott. And it's caught. And he's brought down. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. There to make the grab. And the Cowboys have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14-7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. On second down, Eckler. 
Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run, and then executed. They work now on second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 45-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw. Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Back to throw again. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Washington. Washington Eckler, 40 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Now McManus for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. Prescott on first down. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here's Freeman again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Now Prescott. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. To throw on second down, Daniels. Ertz has it left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Second and five. Looking to throw. Daniels throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and it's third and five. Back to throw. Daniels. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he's going to have a commander's first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one covers 29 yards, first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll look to throw again. That's into the hands of Eckler. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Well, no one wants to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. So here now is Brandon McManus in a big spot. This to break our fourth quarter tie. The kick by McManus is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Kevonte Turpin now to return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing, Prescott. Tolbert hauls in the out route. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first and 10, Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. 
They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here's second down and three. Here's Dak. Out right, he finds Tobert. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 31-yard line. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Prescott. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the Commanders have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Washington ready to try again on offense. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll start with the option. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Eckler now between the tackles. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Third and nine here. They'll run again. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Signal for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Dak and the Cowboys down 17-14. A little under 50 seconds to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Here's Prescott. That's caught by Tolbert. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But still need one completion for field goal range. And just think about what they're going over in the huddle right now. Make the catch, get out of bounds. That's going to be tough to do. So make the catch, get up to the line of scrimmage, and clock it to have one last shot. Another try, second and ten now. 
Now Dak. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. To throw, Prescott. with just six seconds left on the clock. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip. Try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. So a victory here for the Commanders. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.